Welcome to Masculinity Unlocked. I'm your host, A.V., a.k.a. Alpha Villains. We're going to talk about Pink. We're going to talk about what we can learn from Mary J. Blige telling Pink. I'm going to give you a little bit of a backstory. In a nutshell, this video is going to be revolving and concerning, and we're going to talk about hate and the grind, earning your spot, earning your stripes, if you will. It's very important for us to really take into consideration the people that we emulate, the people that we consider or think that we can try to be like, the hard work that it took to get there. Now, a lot of people are selfish with the wisdom. There are a lot of people that are selfish with the tricks because life is competition. I get that. But let's talk about and let's dissect what Pink had to say about one of her first encounters with Mary J. Blige. Let's go. Have you ever asked like a like a big star Mary J. Blige? She was like, uh-uh. That's what? what I love about her. No, I respect it. I yeah, respect yeah. it because so many people will be like, yeah, call me. And then but it's like totally fake. I went into her trailer long time ago. I, this thing is when I hosted the Lady of Soul Train la, or Soul Train Awards. Okay. And I walked into her trailer and I was like, hi, um, would you ever work with me? And she just took one look at me and she goes, no. <laughs> <laughs> and I go, okay. Very important. Very important. What did you do to get here? All right. Now, some people may think and say, you know, A.V., I don't know how the hell you got here, <laughs> but you're here. Are you good at anything? Are you good at what you do? How can you add on? Are you an asset? Are you going to be a fan? Are you going to be a fanboy? Are you going to read my super chats for me? A lot of times people are not going to put you on even though you feel like you should be put on. So what do you do? Do you get mad? Do you get bitter? Do you say, fuck that nigga? <laughs> I'm not red pill. I'm a dating. I'm not a dating coach. Uh... Why are you saying that, A.V.? Because nobody's put you on. Nobody owes you anything. Okay? Nobody owes you a favor. Nobody owes you any type of information. Nobody owes you a goddamn thing. And this is why when people come after content creators that are asking for payment for their information, this is why it is important for us to support those content creators because we understand that the information is not free, but we have to do work to find out the information. So if you have a content creator that you listen to, maybe you walked you up the ledge, etc., motivates you, inspires you, support your content creators. But you don't need anybody to make you hot. I'm proof of that. I'm very fortunate that people put me on. You guys know the stories. Check out my Instagram at Alpha Villains. You can see the highlights, some of the people who have worked with me. But what's interesting about this whole thing and how what we can learn from Mary J. Blige telling Pink No, before I decided to become a content creator or start a podcast, I was getting a ton of support. You can do it, AV, weekly checkups, voice memos, emails, holding me accountable. I'm going to keep checking back with you to make sure that you saying what, doing what you say you were going to do. Uh, You're a grown ass man. You should not have another man holding your hand or holding you accountable. If you're a grown-ass man and you expect a woman to follow your program, you don't need another grown-ass man holding you accountable. You're supposed to hold your motherfucking self accountable. Now, people, some people will believe in you. Some people will support you. Those are people that are confident within themselves. The crabs in the bucket mentality where they're stingy with the knowledge, they're stingy with the assistance, et cetera, because maybe it took them a long time to get to where they wanted to. You got to respect it, but you don't have to do that. Knowledge is power, but knowledge is only power when applied properly. Knowledge is power when we decide to share it and we encourage each other to become better versions of ourselves so we can restore masculinity. So I got more support before I decided to get on this motherfucking microphone, and I only thought that the support and the accolades and you know, the knowledge would continue to increase. Unfortunately, a hater's silence is loud. Now, Mary J. Blige, 
Pink being all bright-eyed and bushy-tailed, looking up to one of her mentors, saying, damn, you know, would you ever work with me? Pink obviously had a very strong belief within herself. Mary J. Blige took one look at her and said, no. You got to respect that level of honesty. You got to respect the fact that maybe you're not as hot as you think you are. Maybe people don't see what you see. So what do you do? Are you bitter? Do you get mad? Do you start doxing people? Do you start bad-mouthing people because they didn't want to give you a shot? Absolutely not. You call yourself a man, right? What do you do if you don't get... You're working out, you're doing things, and it's still not working out for you. What do you do? You decide to get better. Your best isn't always going to be good enough. So I had to take a really long look at my delivery, my show, the way I was presenting it, the way I was talking about it, and make some adjustments. That's what men do. Life doesn't get easier. We get stronger. So when Pink got rejected by Mary J. Blige, a fire was lit. A fire was lit. She said, man, fuck this bitch, man. I'm going to show her what's up, and I'm going to be just a big, uh, just a, a star, just as big as she is. A hater silence is loud. You don't need anybody else to make you hot, bro. Your family, your friends, etc., are not going to support you because they don't want to see you win. We already know the story, so you don't need them. When you rely on people, they're going to let you down every single time, bro. You work harder. You get back in the lab. If you're not getting the responses and the reception that you want from women, what do you do? You don't necessarily have to hire a coach. You look at yourself in the mirror. You play back the situation. You say, you know what? Maybe I could have done this better. You learn from your losses. I learned a lot these last three years. I learned that the red pill and, you know, the man's male spaces aren't necessarily as holistic as I thought they were. Think about it. You got a lot of egos. You got money involved. You got a bunch of minions and people following these people, pedestalizing these people, putting them on a pedestal. That's not a form of respect. That's a form of idolatry. And if we're not supposed to put women on a pedestal, why the fuck are we going to put men on a pedestal? So if you think you're hot, you got game, and you're not invited, you're not doing what you're supposed to do, you got to work harder, my G. You're not supposed to get mad at them. You're supposed to say, I bet I'm going to show you niggas. So Pink getting rejected from Mary J. Blige is a very good example for all of us to know and to remember. Not everyone is going to support you. Not everyone is going to believe in what you believe in. But as long as you believe in what you believe in and you are deciding to put in work to progressively and intermittently get better and better at what you believe in, you're in a good position. You're in a position that most men will never be in because most men have no direction. This is why they rely strictly on content creators and people on a microphone to give them and tell them what shoes would match with those type of jeans. You don't need anybody to make you hot, man. You want something done right, you do it yourself. Always remember, guys, it's lonely at the top, but it's lonelier on the way up. But once you get there, sky's the limit. Keep grinding, bro. Peace.